everybody, welcome back to Flights of Fancy. I'm Sarah and today we're doing an extra, extra special treat. And I think it came out extra, extra fun. We're gonna be drawing Hermione Granger as everybody's favorite Harry Potter character, obviously. Although, I don't know, I see myself more as a uh, Luna Lovegood. Starting on the pencil composition, the inking, and finally my favorite part, the watercolor. Just bringing it all together in a super fun, super Harry Potter extravaganza. And now, let's take you back to where all began. One, two, three. <laughs> For this composition, I wanted more of a close-up. I wanted to highlight her hair especially. I wanted to emphasize how large and curly and brown it is and show her features. In this depiction, she's a young teen without makeup, with her school uniform on. She has the traditional sweater, a little feminine bow maybe, the girls outfits have a prettier bow, and some of her house colors, but then of course with the Hogwarts cloak with the hood draping back behind. And then for the background, something a little more simple, it's either nighttime or dusk, there's the moon flying over Hogwarts in the distance, and perhaps she and her friends are in the woods discovering some clues. I'm using the uh, thicker brush style pen here to thickly outline the outside, and then a thinner pen to highlight some of the inner lines. just to make sure that the lines of her cloak and her bow and some of her features stand out because a lot of these colors are going to be on the darker side. We have a black cloak, dark brown hair, dark green forest, and so forth. I put down a couple of washes of black for the cloak to make sure it got nice and dark. And later you'll see I came back with a, a little blue mixed into the black just to give it a little bit more depth so that you could see some of the finer lines and the wrinkles and the sleeves and the definition between the hood and the shoulder and things like that. And here we are filling in our house colors. I did a little research on British school uniforms so we can kind of have that British uniform mixed with the Harry Potter world cloak, kind of more of an old world magical feeling to it. And since it's nighttime, I'm doing a bit of a darker shadowing, even on her white articles of clothing. But we have the moon in the upper right hand corner, and it's going to be shining down and making like a bright, light spot on one side and very dark on the other side and also the moon will be shining through her hair and the outer frizzes and curls will be catching the light and where hair is denser and darker it'll be they'll not you know it won't catch so much of the light I did a nice light wash for her face to start and went over it several times to darken it up as I went, especially for shadows. And as I said, I didn't want it to look like she's wearing makeup, so I put some, you know, she has naturally rosy cheeks as a young person, and I didn't want to define her lips too much with color, like they have youthful color, but they're not perfectly outlined like they would be if you were wearing lipstick. And here we are going with uh, multiple, multiple washes of the brown for her hair. I made several washes of brown and as I went, I darkened the watercolor with more brown, you know, just a bare, bare, bare hint of red. 
and as I got it darker and darker I just used a little 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 black as I went so that the color would be deeper and deeper oh, and there's my hair in the shot I kept leaning in to look at it closer and as it got darker in the middle I would bring out the color as curly curly cues of hair so that you know there would be different layers of different darknesses of curls all shining in the moonlight and since her face dried a little bit more I could come in and shade it give it some deeper shade a little bit more rosiness outline her eyes just a little bit so they pop I don't want to make it look like she's wearing makeup like I said but I also want it to be able to stand out in the nighttime and coming here to her wand I'm not basing this wand on anything in particular this is just out of my imagination having read the book myself they didn't describe it so I just want this to be more of uh, how the book describes the character and I went in here and flicked just a few freckles on not like she has freckles so much as just your natural um, look of a face plus it's so cute and I tried putting some like little dashes in her hair too but I started getting it in the trees in the sky and so <laughs> I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to go over those little specks with uh, in the sky especially so I did several washes of a nice dark green forest green color and I wanted a nice texture in there not too too much because it's nighttime and very dark and then the sky I was carefully going around Hogwarts with this blue like dark blue color and I realized that I was just gonna color it in black so it doesn't matter if I <laughs> if I miss and then I used a little paper towel to dab away sections where the clouds are and it was just a piece of cake. It's so easy to make a little cloudy sky with some little light clouds. And that is especially helpful for if you don't get a perfectly smooth wash. If your sky is lumpy, it doesn't look much like a sky anymore. Unless you add clouds, then it looks like clouds. And I went over Hogwarts several times with black, so I was having the the spires at the top be darker and it kind of lighter below just so that it would stand up from the trees a little bit maybe there's light coming from sconches down below or through windows or something the music's getting very epic and then I came back and did Now I can talk. <laughs> I came back and did a little more shading on her face just to make sure her nose stood out and the round her mouth and everything. And this is the Jelly Roll brand pen, but it's the kind, what did it call itself? I'll put it in the comments, but it's perfectly clear but it leaves like a really shimmery shiny residue so from different angles the little sparkly stars from her wand will show up in the little stars in the sky thank you for watching subscribe and we'll catch you next time I'm in Gryffindorf Gryffindor, Falcor, no, um, Ravenclaw, Griffin, and as you can see I'm in Gryffindor, and as you can see I'm in Gryffindor house, as you can see I'm in Gryffindor house, boys are flexible, boys are flexible, boys are weird, boys are weird, boys are weird,